In today's video, we're checking out a Telecaster with one of the longest names I've ever heard, but the tones are great. This is the Fender Custom Shop 50s Twisted Telecaster Custom Journeyman Relic, and it's left-handed, so take a look at this. This is super cool. Before we get into this video, a massive thank you to Sky Music for the loan of this. I don't get to keep it. This video is not sponsored. No money's changed hands, and all thoughts about this will be my own. If you want to check this out, I'll link it below. Here we go. Let's take a look at this guitar up close. Now, obviously the Relic job won't be for everybody. There's some checking on the body. There's lots of scratches on the plastic. The neck looks like Eric Clapton's burned his cigarettes in here over the course of like 40 years or so. But I gotta tell you, man, the neck itself feels so good to play. This is a soft V, so it's a V-shaped neck with a soft feel. And just that whole Relic vibe is super slinky to play. It feels amazing. There's no just no stickiness to it like you'd find on some of those high gloss necks. Like most 50s guitars, we get a set of vintage tuners, and here's the back of the headstock sporting that Fender Custom Shop logo. One of the things that makes this guitar sound as nice as it does are these two pickups. We get two hand-wound Custom Shop Twisted Tally single coils. So we get the typical neck pickup, both pickups, and bridge like you'd find on all Telecasters, except these pickups sound phenomenal, and I'll showcase that in this video. Now on the specs, it says a reverse note caster bridge with brass saddles. Now I totally agree, these are brass saddles, but the center one actually has a split down the middle. So yeah, I haven't seen this before on a lefty, which I think is pretty cool. When I first saw this guitar on Sky Music's wall, I thought for sure it was a 60s tally due to that binding, but it isn't. This is something very different for a 50s style tally. When it comes to the electronics, this guitar is wound a little bit like it would be for a right-handed player. So on is backwards or this way, right? So if you're playing right-handed, on would be this way, forwards, and they've done that with this guitar. I've only ever played one other lefty with this configuration. Usually for us lefties, on is this way, but not in this case. So yeah, it sort of messed with my head a little bit, but I managed to get around it. Anyway, it's a great looking and sounding guitar if you're into these kind of instruments. And yeah, if you want to check out how crazy the price is, <laughs> I'll link it down below. All right, let's get into it. In today's video, I'm plugged into my Marshall DSL 40CR amplifier with no other effects. And this particular amplifier and guitar combination sound phenomenal. It's got that really great steely sound. We're going to start with some clean tones on the neck pickup with the tone control and volume all the way up. Here we go. That's that classic tone over to both pickups. Sounds great, over to bridge. It's a great sounding tone, let us know what you think. Over to the crunch channel of the amplifier now, and this is the same sort of tone I had dialed in for one of the rhythm guitar parts in the intro track. 
I'm gonna start with my volume control down on bridge pickup. Here we go. It already has that really great steely sound all the way up. <laughs> I mean, that's the tone right there, man. That bridge pickup is absolutely killer. Over to both pickups. Still a really great sound. And neck pickup, I'm gonna start again with the volume control down. All the way up. It's so dynamic. Let's get over to the high gain channel. And now we're over to the ultra gain setting, which was the same tone I used for that lead solo part in the intro track. Take a listen to this. This is with the volume control down. <laughs> yes, what a, what a great blues tone. And now with the volume all the way up. This is one of the best Telecasters I've played in a very long time. <laughs> and it's a lefty. Uh oh. Let's wrap this video up. I'm going to give you my final thoughts on the Fender Custom Shop 50s Twisted Telecaster Custom Journeyman Relic Left-Handed Chocolate Three Color Sunburst Limited Edition Telecaster. <laughs> Man, what a name. <laughs> All right, so there's a lot to like about this, or you'll completely hate it depending on your view when it comes to relic instruments. But I tell you what, this is nice and light to start with, which is great. Custom shop guitars generally are. If you haven't played a neck like this before that's been heavily relic at the Fender Custom Shop, it's so good. This is definitely one of the nicest Telecasters I've played in terms of feel. You might remember a black one I reviewed many years ago. That guitar's probably still number one or could go either way, but basically the neck on this feels fantastic. It's a nice 50s neck as well, so it's got a bit of chunk. But man, the Telecaster tones you can get out of this are so good on the neck, both pickups and bridge, whether we're playing clean or dirty. They've got that real spanky sound, but they also have a lot of low end and that classic sort of chime on the tops. I really like the binding around the edges as well. You know, we've got that obviously the string through body here, the custom shop badge, but it looks super cool. It doesn't look too relic as well. It's got some nice checking on the body. Overall, again, you'll either like this or you won't, but if you're a lefty looking for something different and a little bit more high-end, definitely check this out. Right-handed guitarists obviously have a lot more options when it comes to Fender Custom Shop stuff, but I'd recommend this for a lefty or a right-handed player that's wanting a guitar with this type of aesthetic. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of this sort of sunburst look, but with the binding and the relicking, I actually kind of like it. It's a good point of difference from the standard sort of squire you'd find in most shops <laughs> in or around the world that's uh you know as a lefty that's all you ever see but i tell you what man as a lefty coming in with this beautiful tweed case this is really something special now if you want to check this out i'll link it down below those links help support the channel it's greatly appreciated if you do use them but you don't have to of course but yeah fender custom shop guitars are starting to get a little too expensive for most people including this guy so I don't know if I would buy this personally just based on the price, but I tell you what, if I could afford to and it was only like a hundred bucks to me, then I would definitely get one of these. Let us know what you think. Thanks to Sky Music for the loan of this. I don't get to keep it. This video is not sponsored. If you have enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.